Hello everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel Salesforce and this is Rohit and today I'm going to show you Summer 23 new feature for LWC that is called Combo Box Enhancement or Combo Box Description Attribute in Summer 23. So if you want to learn something new, so please watch this video until end and please subscribe the channel for more updates so you never will miss any kind of update from my side. So let's get started without any further delay. I just open my VS Code. So under this VS Code, you have to create one Lightning Web Component. So how to create that? Simple, if you are using Windows, just Control shift p you have to press it. And once you press it, just use SFDX Create Web Component here. And you have to give the name, let's say My Combo Box, something like that. Right. So let me check the Combo Box spelling first. Combo Box, that is correct. And uh, here, just you have to do one thing. J once you created your component name like this, you can create any name as you want. Okay. So now you can see my combo box component is created now. So first of all, you have to design your component and we have to implement JavaScript logic here. So first of all, here in this component, let me add the status option. So let me add like status options. Okay. So this is the arrow of object. So under here, we have one, you know, like object here and it's contained like value colon and let's say value is new and uh, comma label, label. I can give the label here, let's say new. Okay, new like this. And once you've done this one, this is the new attribute that is called description. You have to write this description here. Description, right. The description, uh, like new description, for example, purpose, right. So I can give another one that is called here, like this in progress and the finish. After that, we can close it like this. So once you save it, let me save this. Now immediately you can see our option is done. And this is the new attribute, please keep in your mind. Before summer 23, you cannot see this attribute that is called description. And in this release, you can see this dis description attribute here. And based on this description attribute, and user easily understand what is new, what is in progress and what is finished based on your value. In my case, I am using three values. So based on these values, I can recognize what is this and what is this like that. Okay. So description is a new one attribute here. After that, you have to create, let's say one value equal to new by default. I need like new value here. Okay, new. And after that, I need to check the handler, right? If anyone want to change some value, I can capture it and I can see the new value here. So based on this handle change, like handle change event, and I can use like this, okay? So once you use this one, our JS logic is done. After that, you have to uh, design your HTML part. So how to design HTML part? Very simple. Just you can open your file, control P and just search my combo box and my combo box HTML. And this is the another one, my combo box. So just use here my com combo box HTML. And uh, you know, here you can see this is the HTML part, right? Let me open my XML part as well, combo. And this is the XML part here. So we have three files, that is correct. Now let me uh, scroll it or you can close it like this. Under this HTML template, you have to write your card first, like card and we have to give like combo box attribute example or description attribute example meaningful description attribute example and remove unwanted HTML from here under here I need to design my you know like combo box so how to design very simple just you have to do one thing here I can use like this placeholder options and on change like this okay so now here let me show you that one 
it's uh, duplicated you can up update your design token based on your requirement so under here in this combo box name is status for example i want to take like status here and level status that is correct and value same same value placeholder choose status or select program status like that you can use it like select status and option we already use like option status value so that is in a, you know like the js file so let me open the js file and we have like status option copy it paste it here and handle change we can see a handle change here so just copy it paste it in this file like handle change right so our combo box is ready now after that i want to check something here so let me check this div is closed or not so here is close here after that you have to create one paragraph to check this value is coming here or not like select and like selected something like that selected status something like that right status colon and you can bind your data like value so just save it and uh, you have to configure xml as well so i can make it is expose scroll here and uh, i want to use this page inside my record page app page and home page so let me save this one and let me deploy it just deploy it once you deploy this component we can see this one in our org step by step in lightning app builder page and record page or something like that as you want where you want to use you can use it based on your requirement so let me open here so let me open any account record page let's say account or contact based on your need you can use it let's say contacts so let me open the contact here and once you open this contact record here after that you can design this one let's say david singh so under this david singh i want to inject my component here so just you can add it this page here like edit page once you edit it just drag and drop your component from left side to uh, this particular lighting a builder page or visual editor okay so just here in the custom we already created like my combo box right so just you have to drag and drop anywhere as you want like this so here i can use here right or just let me close it or my combo box just drag and drop anywhere like this and once you've done it just save it once you go back you will be see the changes based on our requirement and that that is good or that is very good feature or very useful feature in for the combo box in lwc summer 23 so you can use it because and user easily recognize what is this value and what we can do with this value and what is the meaning of this value like this so once you click on this drop down that is combo box immediately you can see like new and new description in progress in progress description finish finish description you can change this text based on your requirement for your understanding purpose or for your knowledge i'm just giving this like new description new pro in progress description finish description you can give any text based on your requirement but this is the very handy features and very useful feature nowadays you can use it like this so any user easily understand what is this and what is this like that okay so guys i hope you learned something new in this video if you feel like this is a very more informative for us so please subscribe share like comments and please turn on the bell icon for more updates so you never be miss any kind of update from my side so till then bye bye take care see ya thank you for watching guys